people camp and uh, have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with all the people who are Namaste to all. Last time, how many of you have attended some of the crazy techniques I taught? Did you practice? Did you practice? No? I think it will almost part of it will be the same as the kitty and some psychosomatic relaxation technique will do. See, ultimately what we need to do is our spirit should be very high. You should be under perfect control of your spirit. You should be under perfect control of your spirit. Where spirit, you can call it as an atma or medically you can call it as an autonomic nervous system at least. Where by your uh, willpower, you are helping your autonomic nervous system to optimally postpone or prevent or control this particular neurological degeneration, whatever is happening. Metaphysiologically, whatever is happening, we use our body's resources to the extent that we will postpone this or control, or sometimes to the extent that for many years, 10 to 20 years, we can be symptom free. So, I will quickly teach some relaxation uh, technique followed by some question and answers. Last uh, time I, I shared you some breathing technique, same I would like to repeat. So I am using some of the mudras where uh, medico, let's say medically or neurophysiologically what I say is number of receptors are maximum in our hand compared to any part of your body. So thumb contains the maximum number of receptors in our body. They have a, a big area in our brain called as motor homunculus. So that is somewhere correlating with the ancient Rishi's uh, uh, doing mudra and some of this neurophysiological effects. So quickly do this technique. Hold your hands like this. Thumbs up. Encircle with four fingers. Hold it tight. Release lower four fingers. Cover your knuckle area. Thumb touching the middle finger and holding in front of your chest. It looks like a, a seashell or a conch or a shankha mudra. You can just take it as a deviation of your mind from something worrying some thoughts to a neutral sensation of your body. So that is this particular mudra. So what I suggest is breathing in 4 seconds, holding the breath 4 seconds, breathing out 4 seconds. I call it 4-4-4 breathing technique with shankha mudra. Please close your eyes. This is 5 rounds, breathing in 4 seconds, Appro approximately your mind is held on to this awareness of 4 seconds in, 4 seconds hold and 4 seconds out. Breathe in, 4 seconds sit down, 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 4 seconds sit down. So that I call it as 1, 4, 4, 4 is 1. We will do some 5 to 10 breath workups at this point. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Continue. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Slowly and gently, this gesture. But then a very short version of it, 
Would you feel little tingling sensation in here in your hands? Would you? So you can take it as I'm using this technique to deviate your mind from worries and thoughts about what is going to happen to me next, what is there to give up for me, what medications I need to take, how much medications I need to take, how long I need to take. If you keep on worrying and uh, thinking of this so much, your body's uh, stress response will be exaggerated. Stress response is too much, it will directly affect your nervous system. Sympathetic tone will be higher. So, research usually does, doesn't approve that stress is causing a disease, but it says that stress can aggravate the disease. So, we are somewhere using this breath, breath technique to regularize the breathing and indirectly wash out the stress on You are okay with this? 444, four, I call it as 1. Do it 20 times morning, 20 times evening for first 1 month. It's like a prescription. 20 times morning, 20 times evening for first 1 month. Second month onwards, you are increasing the lung capacity by inhaling 6 seconds, holding the breath 4 seconds, exhaling 6 seconds. 6, 4, 6, same. Continue it for 20 times morning, 20 times evening for second month. Third month onwards, 6 seconds breathing in, 6 seconds holding the breath, 6 seconds exhalation. 20 times morning, 20 times evening. Continue it for about 3 months to 6 months. What's going to happen? It is going to increase the resource of your body, that is the Mahaprana. Yoga language we call it as Mahaprana. Mahaprana is nothing but the breathing. So, throughout your body, everywhere, oxygen and glucose are important things to help, to ease in all the metabolic activities. So, this somewhere we presume that it's going to help. So if people like you, in a long term basis, if at all we are going to follow, we can take up small studies on this particular breathing technique and see how it is helping by tracking some fMRI studies of the brain and anyhow you need to get your MRIs done every one year or two year whenever you go for uh, consultations. So you can do these techniques. Is it okay with you? 444, 2020, one month, 646, 2020, second month, 666, continue, 2020, for three months. So uh, quickly we'll do small relaxation technique which uses your muscle strength of contraction followed by relaxation. It is called as Jacobson's progressive muscular relaxation technique. Jacobson was a Canadian physician who was very much interested in yoga mudra and he designed his own technique. He, most of uh, psychiatrists or psychologists throughout the world they use this particular technique. So in common I use this technique just to dissociate your mind and make you feel relaxed. So we will take a quick session that will take about 10 minutes. Idea here is you are tensing the some, some group of muscles for about 5 seconds and relaxing the same group of muscles. We start with our forearm. Okay. Hold your hands like this. Make a fist of your hand. Hold it tight. Full tight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Release. Feel the relaxation. When you are holding it tight, be aware of the tension of the muscles. When you are letting it go, be aware of the relaxation. You can close your eyes. Next, you are going to work on the bicep muscles. Make your bicep muscles tight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Release. Feel the relaxation of the bicep muscles. Next, go to the trapezius muscles. Make your shoulders like this. Then go straight. Bring your shoulders near to your ears. Hold it tight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Release. Next, work on the forehead. Raise your eyebrows like this up. Raise it up. Hold it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Release. Eyeballs. You are going to make your eyeballs tight. Hold your eyeballs tight like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Release. Let go. Open your jaw fully. Hold it tight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Release. Make your mouth in the form of O. Stretch it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Release. Put your tongue up like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For reference, you can keep your eyes open or down. 
neck muscles you are going to tight. The neck muscles you are going to tight. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now take a deep breath in and hold your breath. Take a deep breath. both hands on the tummy and hold your abdomen tight. Hold it tight. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Next, thighs and buttocks you are going to make it tight. Just make your thighs and buttock muscles hold it tight. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Below me till the tip of your toes you are going to make your neck muscles tight. You can stretch it up. Hold it tight. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Now keep your eyes closed and be aware of your toes. Keep your eyes closed. Your toes are relaxed. You can say my toes at the back of your mind. My ankles are relaxed. My calf muscles are relaxed. My kneecap, thighs, buttocks are relaxed. My abdomen, chest, my entire upper extremity are relaxed. My neck, my head are deeply relaxed. From the tip of my toes till the head, all the skeletal muscles of my body are relaxed. My body is into a deep phase of relaxation. Vishranti, Padikare, Anadena. My mind also is in tune and it is also feeling relaxed. Keeping your eyes closed, gently be aware of breathing in and breathing out. Whenever you breathe in, <coughs> your abdomen bulges out. When you breathe out, your abdomen Things. It's called as mindfulness breathing. So simply being aware of your breathing in and breathing out. With your eyes closed, you can do this breathing awareness for about 10 breaths. Breathing in, down bulges out. Breathing out, abdomen sinks in. Breathing in, abdomen bulges out. Breathing out, abdomen sinks. Be aware of this. Slowly and gently come back to your body awareness. This is the simplest possible relaxation technique you can do. Whenever you feel stressed out or worried or bothered too much about this particular disease. One more small advice is check over a slow diet or alkaline diet. It's an information for you. Alkaline diet or a slow diet where you use most of natural resources. There are only two processes you can do. Either reduce the neurotoxicity or use more neuroprotective agents. There are many effects of the toxic materials in the body. There are many effects of the substance and supplements in the body. This is a basic treatment. For example, if you use vitamin A or vitamin B, when you go to a doctor, we talk to you in a doctor's advice on neuroprotective agents like multivitamins, multivitamins, amino acids or vitamin A or vitamin E they are advised. So it is a neuroprotective agent. So from our side what you can do is change your diet to the extent that alkaline nature of your body is more. Alkaline diet and diet is a more naturally derived diet. More of sprouts, more of vegetables, more of fruits. And some uh, fruits which you can suggest you later where it will help you to assist or protect the nerves. This small introduction, I think, has a point of position. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 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 Y
कैन बेटे